For problems 1 to 10, find the direction of net force, use qualitative discussions, assume all vectors have equal magnitudes, define positive x as to the right and negative y as to the down, vertically down, all right? Again, welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Please do not copy our material. Thank you. For problem number one, I'm going to give you the answer. Here is the object in red. There is a net unbalanced force along negative y. That means what? Net force is along negative y. Net force is along positive x for number two. Number three, what is the net force? Number four, what is the net force? Number five, what is the net force? Number six, what is the net force? Number seven, what is the net force? Number eight, what is the net force? Assume these ve vectors make 45 degrees with respect to the horizontal. Number nine, what is the net force? Again, assume 45 degrees. Number 10, what is the net force? Number one is very clear. Net force is along negative y. Number two, very, very clear, net force is along positive x. Number three, net force is zero because this force cancels with this force. We say in physics that the vector sum of the vertical components is equal to zero. The vector sum of the vertical components is equal to zero, but for number four, there is an unbalanced force to the right, so net force is along positive x. The vector sum of the horizontal forces is equal to zero. The vector sum of the vertical components is equal to zero. So what is the net force? Zero. Number six, net force along the vertical, zero. Net force along the horizontal, to the left, along negative x. These two forces cancel to zero. There's an unbalanced force to the left. What is the net force? Along negative x. The positive x component of this vector cancels with the negative x component of this vector. The positive y component of this vector add with the positive y component of this vector to give you the net force along positive y. The positive x of this vector cancels with the po negative x of this vector. The, the negative y component of this vector and the negative y component of this vector add to give you net force along negative y. There is an unbalanced force along the vertical and along the horizontal. Along the vertical is down, along the horizontal is to the left. So the net force will have negative x and negative y components. Thank you. And this is George Matthew signing off. Thank you. Good luck.